Welcome to a wonderful place where you can begin to open, come home to your essence, get younger and feel better inside yourself. All the points on your face connect to your heart, to your soul, and to your essence. Every time you touch your face, you're increasing the collagen, you're opening the gateway of all the meridians, and allowing your body to feel that sense of rejuvenation from the inside out. All the meridians begin and end on the face. So visualize pathways going up and down the body. The conception meridian starts at the bottom of the pubic bone, comes up the body, and it ends underneath your, at right underneath the upper lip. The governor goes all the way over the top, and it ends at your coccyx. These meridians are all linked, and every emotion is connected to a meridian. So for example, when I'm looking at you, I'm looking at the color of your face, I'm looking at the lines, I'm looking at what your hand position, if your body's forward or if it's open, if your body's concave, that tells me the body needs more opening, so I'm working. And every time you touch your face, you're working with the heart because your hands come through your heart. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to work with some of the points on the face and we're gonna allow your body to become open, rejuvenation, and replenish from the inside out. So let's begin this afternoon with visualizing your body getting younger, feeling better, and having more energy. How does that one sound? So every time you're touching, you're working with a pathway. So the, for example, the stomach pathway starts underneath the eyes, it zigzags around the face, goes up to the hairline, through your nipples, and down to the butt, the second toe. There's 45 points on that one particular pathway. So if you have a yellowish tinge to the side of your face, that indicates the possibility of digestive problems. My name is Victoria Mogilner. I'm an acupuncturist, an esthetician, lived in China, and am the author of Ancient Secrets of Facial Rejuvenation. We just completed a new DVD that's on Gua Sha, which is an ancient Chinese technique that when you use it, you actually tighten, get rid of the wrinkles, and improve circulation. You enhance your immune system. So every time you touch your face, you're getting healthy. Interesting thought, isn't it? And every time you touch your face, you're also stimulating the meridians to allow the body to start to flow more, increase the collagen, and increase circulation. The gallbladder meridian starts at the outer edge of your face. It goes, or through your eyes, it zigzags around the head. It goes all the way down the side of the body and out to the fourth toe. It releases anger, it releases frustration. The gallbladder has a lot to do with making the decision to move forward in your life. How many of you ever felt stuck? Have felt like you need to replenish? Don't know quite where you need to go in your life and you're wondering what's next? How many of you have noticed things are moving quicker, faster, and you, before you know it, everything is moving that quickly? As you take time for yourself and as you start the day, first of all, breathing is the key to replenishing. If you don't breathe, you cut off circulation. And the names of the points are so beautiful. The point at the top of the head is called point of a thousand petal lotus. So when I teach the Tai Chi, what I'm doing is as you bring down this downgoing energy, which is called the heavenly Chi, and the bottom of the foot is called bubbling spring. So it's a kidney point. So as you walk on the earth with gentleness, as you stay connected to source, and you begin to breathe that sense of peace, calm and joy into your life. What's important at this time on the planet is that you take personal time for you. When we walk around here, there's so much going on. Have you noticed how much activation you almost feel? Like you just need to breathe a moment. Take a moment for you. As you create a sacred space in your house or your condo or wherever you're living, you're building the energy field and we talk about entering the vortex of love or entering that energy field of love. As you begin to build this and allow yourself to feel it, you will start to attract 
what you want in your life, who you are, and who you're replenishing. When you are down on yourself, we talk a lot about conscious languaging. And what that means is instead of I want or I need, if you shift your language to I choose, you allow your body to start to become replenished. I choose health, I choose longevity, and I joy choose joy. Over at our birth booth, which is 1131, we're actually doing some of the brain machine today, as I call it, which is Q Dreams or Z Dreams, which is allowing yourself to go into that altered state to listen to a program for 10 minutes to totally replenish from the inside out. Every time you touch yourself with what's called the heart constrictor finger, you're opening to love because this is part of your heart. So we're going to actually begin this afternoon by knowing what you're doing so you can go home and leave here today with points that you can start to work on at home. But taking that time for you is critical. When you start to work with the Gua Sha instrument and you begin to open and replenish, you're stimulating the meridians, you're improving your digestion, you're allowing yourself to be healthy, plus you have a glow. I take before and after shots with people and what I notice is as you look younger and feel better, you're going to have more energy in your life. And what do we all want? But more chi, more energy. So I take you from ground zero. I look at your tongue. I check your pulses because all of your meridians begin and end on the tongue. There's 12 pulses in Chinese medicine. And then I'm looking at you and makeup cannot cover it, which is real interesting. So if you have a puffiness underneath the eyes and you're working with the Gua Sha instrument underneath the eyes, you can begin to eliminate some of that puffiness. The kidney, controls your ears, it controls your knees, and it controls your back. You have a male kidney and you have a female kidney and they're married. So you can never complain about a lack of relationship because you're already married from the inside. When we're looking for a relationship, the first relationship is with yourself. When you really get that, you quit coming out of neediness, but you come out of self-love and nourishment. When you open up what we call point of a thousand petal lotus and bring in that down going energy. We're connected to the angels, we're connected to a sphere and then we open up a vortex of energy around our energy field. That's why Tai Chi, Qigong, Yoga, Pilates, whatever you do, you're opening up that field of energy to allow your body to start to heal and to allow yourself to stay healthy. I personally don't care when I go as long as I live a full life while I'm here. Does that make sense? The moment that I'm not active or the moment that I don't feel good and the moment that I'm down. And what's important right now is you have a choice. You can either stay what we call what's called the upgoing energy. The moment you go from up and down and up and down, your body's like a thermostat. And what that means is you're losing your chi. So staying centered in what's called that energy field or vortex of love, then you begin to send out. And it actually becomes critical right now, your intention. What is your intention? Why are you here today? You're here because you want to pick up on new things. You want to take good care of yourself. Women need women. We need friends, we need sisters, we need people that we can talk to. A man is always good because he wants to fix something. But we need our sisters. And if you don't have a family or a mishpuka or a family that you can relate to, you lose that essence. So it's really critical. If I have a problem, I'll call Denise and I'll say, hey, help me, I need help. I couldn't be here today if I didn't have a team. And what that means is delegating. When you're unhappy or you're depressed, it shows up on your face. Your face is your, what I would call your calibrator for what's actually happening. So if you have a down day, don't stuff it. Call someone and say, I need five minutes of your time. I need to get it out of my system. But after it's done, then you go back to what's called the center line, getting connected to source, bringing in that love and that nourishment. So you bring in the joy. When I work with the essential oils and conscious languaging, what I'm doing is having you come up with a statement or an affirmation of I choose health, 
I choose well-being. I choose to bring in that joy and that healing into all aspects of my life. As I start to do that, I replenish. The stomach has to do with worry, overthinking, and what do women do best? We worry and we overthink, right? So we've always got something that we're thinking about. It's in the future or it's in the past. If you're in the moment and you allow yourself to be truly in the moment, you have no agenda. There's nowhere to go, there's nothing to do. But how many of us really do that each succulent moment? If I'm truly present with you, I don't care what's going on any other place. You've got my undivided attention. Does that make sense? When you feel you're with somebody and they're not really with you, you can read people right now real fast. Are you with me? And if somebody's not real, you're going to want to split out of there real fast and not be present. When you open that gateway, you want to be with people who care, people who are loving, and people who take time. But if you don't take time for you, then who's going to give it to you? And as women, what do we do? We're always giving, giving, giving. And where do we put ourselves on the list? At the bottom. In Chinese medicine, when the mother is full, the household works. So I'm writing you a recipe today, or I'm writing you a prescription that as you take time for you, you will have time to give to others. And that might be 10 minutes in the morning. You don't need a lot. Are you with me? But if you really focus on quality, you will have that quality to give to somebody else. If you don't give it to you, and then you begrudge yourself because your partner's not giving it to you, your kids aren't giving it to you, well, what about you giving it to you? It's a check and balance system. When I look at banking, I talk about your personal banking, which is your personal savings account. What are you doing on a sacred day to really open up that garden of love, to really plant that seed, and to give to you? The bladder meridian starts on the inner canther of the eye. It goes over the top of the head through every organ in your body. So if you have a backache, if you have a knee problem, the kidney is married to the, to the bladder. So depending upon which season you're born in, you will either have a weakness or a strength in that particular season when you're starting to look. The kidney also deals with your ears, it deals with your teeth, it deals with any kind of neurological problem and your brain. So if you're having brain fog, you can't remember what's happening or your loss of memory, it's the spleen and the kidney. And if you don't build up that energy in those fields, what's happening is you're becoming depleted, low, and it becomes harder to rebuild. When you take time for yourself on a daily basis, you're recharging your field. The male and female kidney get happy. Have you ever heard of an unhappy kidney or an unhappy liver? Seriously, I mean, I'm really serious when I say that to you. Your body talks to you all the time and we don't pay attention. How many of us have trouble sleeping at times because our mind is going, 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 going? When you slow down and really go to bed when your body is tired, in Chinese medicine, your blood starts to rise after 10 o'clock at night, which is real interesting. So when I'm looking at you and I write a prescription, the first thing I ask is what time do you go to bed? How is your sleep? Do you have reoccurring dreams? And how do you feel when you wake up? If you don't have that knowledge inside yourself, we're constantly looking for the outside. And how many of us are into the pills, into this and into that? Taking quality time and knowing when you've had enough. And that's really the key to self-help. If you start to get tired, stop. You know, the 12-step program is a wonderful program for replenishing when we start to look. When I'm looking at you, I'm looking to see what's going on. And I'm looking to see your whole body. There's several steps that are really critical that I want to go over with you. So the very first step is taking quiet time each day. And that can be five minutes, five seconds, but it's setting a regular time. And it's like you write yourself into your diary book. This is my time for me, and I need it. Connecting with your source and bringing in point of a thousand petal lotus. This point opens up the crown chakra, it opens up the crown center, and when you breathe in that violet ray, you're connecting with the angels, you're connecting with love, 
and you're allowing yourself to feed yourself, to take time for you, and to feel good about you. Um, every thought you have goes to your cellular regeneration and goes to your brain. And how many times a day do we have a negative thought? So if a thought comes up, I'm not saying suppress it, but I'm saying allow it to be there and then switch your dial. It's like a radio station. If something comes on and you don't want to watch it, switch the dial to something positive. Reading something positive before you go to bed, smiling is critical. Every time you smile, you tighten your face, you tighten the jawline, and you replenish. So when you have an internal smile, it will show up on your face as you're beginning to work. And as you begin to connect with your essence, you're connecting with your core, and your core radiates that vibrational field all the way out, and you allow yourself to become replenished. Um, so let's start with a couple of points from the face. Would that sound like a good idea? So the very first one that I want to start with is the um, stomach meridian, which is called Welcome Fragrance, which is right under the eyes. And uncross your legs, put everything down, and welcoming in new life, welcoming in new healing, and welcoming in your core this afternoon so you start to replenish. So putting your middle finger underneath the eyes, the affirmation for this point is I choose to welcome in new energy, new self-love, and new inner healing. I fill my body with joy as I connect with Source. Now. And now. Say it one more time. As you say the now, your brain hears it and you turn it on, baby. All right. Now, now, now. All right. Amen. Okay, the next one is letting go of the past. Have you ever felt like you've had a backpack that's filled with all the stuff from the past? We're going to open it up and let it go today, all right? So this one is connected underneath. It's for sinuses. It's a colon one. And as you take a deep breath, this is where the colon meridian, the colon starts on your index finger, comes up over your shoulders, and it ends right by the nasal labia. So as you're on this point, take your fingers, uncross leggies, and take a deep breath in. And the affirmation here is, I choose to let go of any problems from the past. I choose to let go of fear, frustration, and feeling anything or anyone that's holding me back, including myself, as I allow myself to soar, I allow myself to fly, and I allow myself to open the gateway to health, joy, and prosperity now. now. And now. So I've got the essential oils with me. If you come over to the booth afterwards, I'll give you all some oils. Every time you work with the oils, you raise your vibratory rate. When you raise your vibration, nothing can get in that way. Do you follow what I'm saying? So when you start to feel I'm not okay, realize that's your monkey. Your monkey's on your back, right? So as you turn to your monkey every day and say, thank you, monkey, for sharing, but I don't need you right now. I choose to move forward. When we had our booth today, one person who was a psychic didn't show up because she got sick. It's real interesting to watch who people, how people don't allow themselves to move forward in their lives. Another person had cardiovascular problems. She's there. She allowed herself to move through it. Another person had kids. So are you with me? We make a choice every moment. And that choice is yes or no. When you say yes to your body, everything lights up like a Christmas or Hanukkah bush. Are you with me? When you say no, everything shuts down. And there's a time to say no, are you with me? When it doesn't feel right. But when we're always pleasing everybody else, and what do women do best? We're people pleasers. And I can tell you because I can write the same story. But at this point, I don't choose to go there. I choose to listen and be an example of who I am. I'm going to bed. We need, I have one woman in my class, and one of the things she said we need is a routine. 
that routine should be done daily, which means taking personal time, lighting a candle, creating a sacred space. Everything is in the book. It's got all the essential oils. It's got all about your diet. Uh, it's got everything you need to begin to look at what you're doing. New World Library sold 7,000 copies so far. And the reason they took it on the, is there, there isn't a, a book on the market that talks about self-love and nourishment. Everything is pretty from the outside, Botox, this and that. What are we doing to the inside? If your inside doesn't match your outside, are you with me? You're not operating at that frequency. A woman who's teaching a class at where I'm doing, she's in her 80s and she probably looks like she's in her 60s. We have another person here who's a friend. She keeps getting younger and younger. And why does that happen? Because they're connected to source. They take time to believe and love in you. As we're aging, why about that word aging? What about not getting younger? What about that thought of getting better with age? If we're French and we have that French attitude, we get better with wine. Are you with me? So why not be sexier? Why not be more loving? We don't have to go climb on the pole, but she has a great body, are you with me? You know, I don't want to climb on that pole, thank you very much, but I want to be able to feel good and look good. I'm 200 and I'm well preserved, right? You know, but seriously, I take that time. I'll hop along Cassidy's wife taught Tai Chi till she was 92 years old. You with me? What am I gonna to retire to? The men that I talk to, when are you going to retire? What am I going to retire to? Go play bridge every day? Go to the golf club every day? I don't think so. No, but I can work less and I can feel good. Are you with me? You don't have to kill yourself, but it's doing, following your passion and doing what you're good with. If you don't have an interest in life, you will kill yourself very quickly. So you need to have a program and giving to another, but it starts with giving to you. When you give to you, you will have more energy. It's yin and yang. It's the balance between the masculine and the feminine. When we look at the weights, receiving and giving is all one loop. When you really let yourself receive with love, you will give that love because you will be vibrating at that frequency. Does that make sense? And then guess what? All of your dreams are going to come true. And then when you start to work with the Gua Sha, which is amazing, um, and you take a Q-tip so you don't double dip, and you start to use this on a daily basis, you will start to stimulate your points. And how about talking to your points? When's the last time do you talk to your kidney and said, kidney, I love you? When's the last time you talked to your heart and said, heart, I need you? You with me? When you talk to your organs, they hear you. It takes 21 days to change a habit. So why not change a habit with self-love, nourishment, and joy? I write crazy prescriptions being a doc. And my prescriptions are love, healing, and joy. Being an acupuncturist, having lived in China, and having worked in the hospitals in Beijing, just got my master's in auricular because all of your organs are in your ear and I have a little ear detector that sounds like a cow. So every time I work on you, I can find out exactly what's going on. Thank God we've got Eastern and Western medicine together. Are you with me? We need both worlds. But you need to learn that you are master of your fate and quit giving yourself away to people all over town. If you don't choose people that work with you, rather than at you, you're not going to succeed in your life. Are you with me? When a person says this, this, and this, and you're aging, and that's why, bye, I'm out of there. You know? Who has a right to tell me? I had a woman today who had lost her hearing, and Denise heard it. She prayed to God, and her hearing came back within six weeks. Hello? That doesn't always happen, but are you with me? Miracles can happen on a daily basis. I use a lotion or I use a cream that's natural. Everything I use is organic. And then I make an herbal mask that's all Chinese herbs. It smells great. It's kind of earthy and it feels really good. And it's replenishing. Then I use the microcurrent with the acupuncture and it's awesome. There's little packages that are all for you. And we've got a ton of them here. And we, everybody's welcome to a free session, which is unreal.
but why not give, right? If we don't give with love, we don't get anything back. And then I very gently start, the, bo the body's divided into different zones. So I very gently come up you're always going up because you don't want your face to drop anymore, right? And then I'm going to learn the cupping in another week, which will tighten, because what, what goes first is our necks, right? Nobody wants a turkey neck, right? So I just say it like it is. Then underneath the eyes. And then the forehead. And I'm going straight across. Then that smoker's note, you know, that mouth area that tends to get it right in here. And then I'm working each zone. And I'm allowing that area to start to heal. And then when you work on yourself, you can start to begin to get everything fixed. So, for example, We have a new Gua Sha DVD that's about 10 minutes and it just is very simple but it shows you what you can do, how you can do it at home and then you start to work on yourself and instead of being negative, what about if you started with the affirmation, I choose to love myself, I choose to open the gateway to health, vitality and joy. What's missing is people have the pressure points but they don't add the positive thoughts. When you start with an intention, your intention will take you to wherever you want to go. And how many end up in a negative space rather than a positive space? How many have people that they hang out with friends and all they do is complain? When I'm teaching at the Gilbert Senior Center or at um, Chris Ridge Village Tai Chi, I have people do affirmations every day with the Tai Chi. And then you open and you feel wonderful and it feels like my body saying thank you thank you thank you for thinking of me you know have we ever had our bodies talk to us oh when you're not good your body wants to run away from you but you have nowhere to go you know what i'm saying so as you learn to take care of you you can start to do that this is all in that little package that's available here all on the facial rejuvenation with the microcurrent. I use the acupuncture as well because it tightens it even faster and it feels really good. It doesn't hurt. Uh, it's the same treatment that we do at um, down in Tucson at the, at the spa down there. I've just been hired over at up in uh, Sedona at the Amara Spa to bring my brain machine in there. People want to have a positive attitude but it starts with you. It starts with the beginning of saying yes. And as you say yes, you feel good. So let's take a moment, close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, let yourself feel the thought. I'm now opening to the angels. I'm now opening to love. I'm opening to healing. I take this moment to go forward in my life knowing that as I move forward, I move it forward in my heart to all that I deserve because I deserve to give myself the best because I am the best and there's no one that can give it to me but me. And as I take this thought, I breathe it through every cell in my body and I say thank you God for this space. Thank you God for this healing. Thank you God for this thought as I move forward now and forevermore. So be it in the name of the light. Namaste, people. Thank you for having me.